Your web comps are amazing. I love the work that you did for us. Thank you. I'm curious why you're calling me about web comps. Well, I mean, I've seen the work that you've done in the past, and I thought that you could really help us with our, our brand. Right, right. But why do you specifically believe you need web comps? Well, we wanted to increase engagement. And, well, we've had a very successful fiscal year in the past, but we've seen our, um, our sales going down, and we're not exactly sure why. We find it hard to make sure that the people who have bought our stuff in the past um, keep coming to us. I feel like it's very competitive out there in, the, in our particular industry. Anything else? Um, I mean, we don't really know where to look. We just look through our metrics and we see it continuously going down, but we're not really sure where to look. Okay, okay, so you have no idea. Yeah. Who built your current web comps and why don't you call them to do it now? Well, we had someone in the past, but uh, the, the partnership kind of deteriorated. Why? Um, well, they had moved and they weren't really responsive. And um, yeah, well, I mean, I feel like they have kind of um, pivoted to other clients and we weren't really exactly in communication anymore. So communication kind of died off. You know what I'd like to do? Here's what I heard. You said that you're looking for a solution there's an engagement issue, you see a decrease in sales, and that there's greater competition. And the last partner you had wasn't a partner at all. They're non-responsive, they had their own self-interests, they didn't have your best interests at heart, and they, they weren't good communicators. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, that's what Okay, so it sounds like we need to solve one of these problems. What's gonna have the greatest impact on your business if we were to fix any one of these things? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Engagement. Engagement. Like okay. So what kind of engagement are you having right now? It's 400K. So you have 400,000 impressions a yeah. month? Uh, yes, a month. Okay. Okay. So what would you like it to be? I want it to keep continuing. So we thought we were going to hit 600,000. Okay. So your goal is to increase it to 600,000. And if you were able to do this consistently, what would that mean to your business? We would get more sales. Like how much more? 40,000 more in profits. Okay. So you would increase sales by 40K per month, mm -hmm. okay? So if we were able to hit this, which is an increase of 200,000 impressions, mm -hmm. we could equal that, is that right? Yeah. It sounds to me like you have a marketing problem. Mm -hmm. Is that right? I guess so, I would trust Isn't your judgment. It? It's like, you came in here for web comms, maybe there's nothing wrong with the web comms. Maybe it's a marketing issue, what do you think? Yes. Okay. So we do this, and I say, well, gosh, if I multiply this out over a year, what would that equal? 480000 So you would have a net gain of $480,000 in gross sales if we could just fix the marketing problem. Yeah. What would be a good amount of money, something that feels fair to you and to me, to spend against this number to make this happen for you? 10000 10000 You would spend 10000 <laughs> To make 480,000? Yeah, it's valuable. That's valuable? That's like less than, well, I don't know, what percentage is that? <laughs> I think 10%, 10% of this would be 48K, right? Now you're spending, you're saying to me, you're spending a fifth of that, mm -hmm. so you're like 2.5%. If you can make an investment today of 2.5% and get this kind of return, mm -hmm. we're in the wrong business. Tell me your secret. <laughs> Could it be, that your previous vendor was undervalued, didn't have clarity on the problem because you self-diagnosed and paid too little to solve a big problem. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm really into business philosophy. Do you know who Jim Rohn is? He really believes in this. Like, do not spend a small effort for a big result. And don't spend a big effort for a small result. Is this a big effort for your company? Or I mean, a big result for your company? Yes. It is. And you want to spend a small effort is that consistent with the way you do your business? No. It isn't. So why would we do that now? I've never seen it like that before. I didn't realize okay. that we could be making this much. Right. So I think as a shrewd business person, which I recognize you as being, spending 48000 to get 480 is a bargain. Here's the good news. I won't even charge you 48. I'll charge you 40. How's that? That sounds amazing. Let's do business. I'll send over contracts later today. Is that okay? Yeah, that sounds great. Fantastic. All right, guys, give her a big, gigantic AAGA 2019 Design Conference applause. <laughs> Woo! Hey, everyone, Ricky here. I'm one of the content directors here at The Future. Thanks for watching today's video. 
And if you want to support us by bringing high quality education to everyone, consider buying a course from us. There you'll find courses to help improve your process with clients, manage your projects, and sharpen your design skills. Head to thefuture.com courses to learn more. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys in the next video.